we had 21 times over the subsequent week. She'll have a full schedule, okay. but it doesn't start on a Sunday at, at this time. But it, when it's on, it'll be on for four Sundays. Cool. All right, Frank. I think that uh, you know so, so much good has come in, come out of this tragedy, and and I read a line from you. I said this. It never gets easier. I mean, how many times, how many heavenly ginger uh, um, performances that you did and all that, it never gets easier. But you, your wife, your family, you, you try and keep your daughter's memory alive and not just keep it alive, but instill in others so much hope and so much good. So tell me mm -hmm. about um, uh, the Carrie Ann O'Donnell uh, Memorial Scholarship Fund and what it's doing in 2019 and beyond. All right, well, a little background. We established it after Kerry passed in 2010. Uh, we decided that we could not let her just go. So this is our way to keep her alive. Uh, and she was truly passionate about being a performer. She was that kid. She went in, uh, and I'm not saying this because she's mine, uh, she would go into a place, she would take it over, biggest smile, very, very serious about doing what she did. Uh, I remember after she passed her, uh, her dance uh, teacher told us that she was the kid that the other kids looked to, to make sure that they were getting it right, because she got it right first. So she loved to dance, she loved to act, she loved to sing. Uh, so we look for kids that have that similar passion. So, you know, we, our tagline is keeping passion for performance alive. And uh, since, uh, since she passed, so it's been uh, nine years now, we have provided scholarships to young people who show that they have a passion and can't afford to do the classes that will help them get better because they're not cheap. We remember that from you know when our kids were doing it. Dance classes cost money, acting classes cost money, voice lessons, singing lessons, uh, music lessons, uh, so we try to help. So we have done a variety of fundraisers. Heavenly Gingers has been our big one. We uh, split that every year with uh, the Morrises uh, in memory of their daughter, Jessica, another ginger, uh, another performer uh, who uh, lost her battle with uh, ovarian cancer a couple of years before Kerry passed. So we, uh, we've established a bunch of uh, different uh, places where we uh, give money to kids. So we've got, um, every year we do at least two at North Providence High School, which is where Carrie went to school and my other kids went there as well. Um, we do them at the performing arts schools, uh, Beacon and Trinity Performing Arts in Providence. We do some through PPAC. They have their uh, arts scholarship that they do every year. We are part of that. We also do something for their Next Stop Broadway. Next Step Broadway, I always get that messed up. Whichever it is, it's one letter. <laughs> um, but we, we, uh, we, you know, we, we just look for that kid that has that spark. Uh, and occasionally I'll go see a show and I'll see a kid and go, okay, that kid gets something. So we'll, you know, we'll give them some, some money. So over the years, uh, in the nine years that the fund has been around, uh, we have, done over a hundred scholarships uh, to kids that you know come from all places all walks and the best part is when we get to see these kids continue to grow so you know I, I get the opportunity you know here at Academy I work with a lot of them so I get to share the stage with them and um, that's kind of special to me so it's not we'll never replace Carrie we'll never get her back but to see these kids that are similar to her uh, and watch their growth is, is pretty rewarding. It's pretty amazing. It's very heartwarming and difficult. So it is, it is kind of tough. I, was, uh, I did two, two of the kids, that, uh, kids, they're young ladies now, that have gotten scholarships. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with like one-on-one -on -one here, one uh, uh, Megan in uh, Newsy, she played my daughter, which is <clears throat> weird, and uh, Lauren, who played my daughter in uh, Jekyll and Hyde. And you know, you're sitting there and you're going, oh man, it's just like I'm her dad, <laughs> and I'm not her dad, but she's also part of Carrie's life. Yeah, and that's, 
that certainly came full circle in that way. Um, if our viewers want to see any of these upcoming performances, uh, I'm, I'm assuming there's the website is full of information. Or how does this work? No website yet. Uh, we do most, uh, I will post things on Facebook. Uh, if we have a fundraising thing coming up, uh, I do a lot of private fundraising too. So, I mean, I'm a wedding officiant. I don't charge people, but they will make donations to Kerry's fund. It's ongoing. Uh, and it is a 501c3, so anybody that wants to contribute can certainly do it. It is tax deductible. It's fully recognized IRS contribution. I don't know what the tax laws are anymore, whether it's worth it, <laughs> but it's definitely worth it. Um, but I always, uh, I have a big presence on Facebook, so if anybody wants to check out what's going on, go ahead and friend me. I'll friend people. Well, I think Thanks it's that way. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's pretty remarkable, and it's uh, obviously uh, 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 parental love is is what it is. Um, if and I and I know how difficult this is even to talk about it mm -hmm. and to do things in a positive way. This young lady was taken was taken from you instantly. Mm -hmm. This wasn't a, a debilitating disease or something. This was a, somebody vibrant just struck down mm -hmm. and, and the it's like a light young, going out. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and I think that's even more remarkable. It's not a it's not a contest. It's not a comparison. Mm -hmm. But I think knowing that these last nine years and for you seeing the number of lives that you've touched on her behalf, if you will, she's pretty touched. Remarkable. She has absolutely touched these other kids and uh, I know a lot of them feel that too so that is one of the best parts I mean some of the kids you know we give them the money we never hear anything which is fine we don't we're not looking for anything but when you do see the kids that um, you know give you a big hug when you see them because they they know that they have been touched by Kerry and they keep it you know, with them. I mean, I have kids that are still wearing, this is Kerry's bracelet. They still wear it. You know, we give it to them when we give them the scholarship along with a t-shirt and a couple of other things. And, and I run into them and they go like this, and hey, see, right? And that is to me, that helps. I mean, we will never ever fill the void. It's impossible, but it is, um, it's a little selfish of us because it is our way of keeping her alive. I, that's that's debatable. It's not debatable here. It's a wonderful way you've spoken. Armand, I, I think that there's just plenty. It's amazing. Wind them up and it goes. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't think there's anything else, Frank. I think that's yeah. perfect because yeah. it's all usable. You, the way you speak, of course. So, you know, you, know, you have training in this? Uh, no, I don't think so. 